is going on and welcome to the Beaver Crew guys. Today we are down here at a creek and I am fishing in it. Uh, one of my favorite things to do fishing wise is multi-species creek fishing. I don't know why, I just love it. I like it better than pond fishing. For some reason for me fishing around a pond is just boring and it just it gets old for me. But I love coming down here and fishing in creeks. There are bass in here, there are bullhead, there are bluegill, pumpkin seed, green sunny, creek chub, shiners, you name it. Today for my bait, I'm using basic uh, hamburger bread. We're gonna start off right away with my big rod. Um, this is just a basic ugly stick uh, with a $10 Shakespeare, $10 Shakespeare open reel I bought at Walmart. So basic cast, I usually cast right out into the cent. Wow, okay, we have problems. All right, good. See if anything will catch it. I fished here back in the winter. You can click up here, top right corner. Here we go. There we go. That's what I want to see. Oh, my bait's missing. It's the big old thing. All right, we got something pulling around here. I guess it's a creek, ch creek chub just by the way that it's wiggling it around. Ah, right out of its morph. They just have such tiny mouths. Mm, right on them again. Guys are right on top of them. Yep, there we go. Caught him. Hmm. This, I don't think, is a creek chub. No, that is a creek chub. Is that a creek chub? No, no. I think it's a creek chub. It's a little guy. Alright. We got him. Finally got one. Kind of get it in the current there. Hopefully it don't snag. Wow, something bitter right away. Yep, we snagged on the tree. Yep, typical. Mm. <laughs> I guess that works. We'll just pull the branch off. Are you kidding me? So, I had a little mishap with the fishing rod. Uh, just stupid me and I was just just being a ridiculous fisherman and I just didn't care about the knot that I saw on my reel this giant knot sitting right there right in front of my face and I didn't even bother about it and I went to cast and the rod flipped out and got a big old big old nest knot in it and then it I just I just had to cut it and whatnot but I got everything off that old line the bobber the hook the weights the the caliper clamp thing hooker thing majiggy. Anyway, I'm gonna put it back on the line, retie it up, and get right back to fishing. Holy cow, did you see that? Oh, that was not a creek chub. That was definitely not a creek chub. Creek chubs do not do that. That's for sure. That might have been a bass. The way it took that down, could have been a sunny. Could have definitely been a sunny, but whatever that was, took it down in a heartbeat. Okay, something's nibbling it. Ah, did you see that? All right, I'm determined to catch whatever this is now. I got you, little buddy. Uh-huh. I ain't going away today. Still got my bait. Get out of the mouth. <sighs> All right, guys. We did it. We're going to get some bites. Got another one. Yeah, we're racking them in now. That's the trace. Look at that dude. Oh, he's a chunky little fella. Well guys, we did better than I thought we were gonna do. We caught that one really early and then we just had a ton of time of mishaps and just forgetfulness and I wasn't setting the hook and I just wasn't able to get anything on the line. We had some big bites. Still curious what was really setting that pull that bobber down really quick. I didn't think creek chubs to do that. And I had a feeling it might have been a bass. It could have even possibly been a sunny. Um, but we turned in two more. We did good um, for only using bread and fishing down here for about 25, 30 minutes. 
I'd say we did pretty good. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like this fishing video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, comment down below if you want me to do any more fishing videos. Because I know I don't do a lot. So comment down below if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Anyway, see you next time on the Booba Crew.